I now have the pleasure of introducing two special ladies. Stacy Colbell is the Director of Government and Community Affairs with the Central Division for Comcast Cable Communications. And Leng Leng Chansey is the Vice President of Quality Care for Children and serves at, on the WAC Alliance Board. Let's give a warm welcome to Stacy Cole and Leng Leng Chansey. We really appreciate the partnership with Comcast NBC Universal. It allows the WAC Awards to hold the title as the only Asian awards program televised across the nation. And we are here tonight to honor a special and talented member of your staff, Stacy. That's right, Ling Ling. When you meet our honoree, Susan Jen Davis, you'll certainly be dazzled by her vivacious, fun-loving character. And if you have the privilege of working with her, you'll agree that she's one of the most powerful women in, in cable. Let me show you a video that best describes. Susan Jin Davis is Korean American, but with her maiden name of Davis, it's not always so obvious. Her father, Bok Nam, was originally adopted by the Davis family and hence the last name for the Asian family. Being extremely family oriented, Susan spends a lot of time with her parents, Bok Nam and Minja Jin Davis, and her daughter, Sophia Jin Malatesta. Noted for her signature punk iconic hair, Susan's friends describe her athleticism as zany, spunky, fun-loving, and free-spirited. However, on the job with over 25 years of experience in the communications and technology industry, Susan is one tough attorney. In her current position, she is the Chief Sustainability Officer at Comcast Corporation and former the Senior Vice President of Operations Compliance for Comcast. Back in 2011, Susan negotiated an historic memorandum of understanding between Comcast and the Asian American community as part of the company's merger with NBC Universal. She serves on Comcast Internal Diversity Council and is the liaison to the Comcast and NBC Universal Joint Diversity Council. She's also an executive sponsor of Asian Pacific Americans at Comcast. In 2011, Susan was responsible for launching Comcast's Internet Essentials program and leads the company's Online Safety Advisory Council. Susan has completed the Women in Cable Telecommunications Senior Executive Summit at Stanford University, the Women's Executive Leadership Program at the Wharton School of Business, CTAM's Executive Management Program at Harvard, and was a fellow in the Betsy Magnus Leadership Institute of the Women in Cable Telecommunications. Susan's received numerous awards, including the 2010 Paragon Award of the National Association of Multi-Ethnicity in Cable, was named one of the most powerful women in cable by Cable Facts, and one of the top 50 most influential minorities in cable by Cable World. She serves as a chair of the board of the Asian Pacific American Institute for Congressional Studies and as a director on the boards of the APIASF, the Asian Pacific Islander American Chamber of Commerce and Entrepreneurship, and the Juvenile Law Center. Congratulations to Susan Jin Davis for the 2017 WAC Leaders and Legends Award.
Susan, on behalf of our entire board, I would like to present you with the 2017 WEC Leaders and Legends Awards. Congratulations. Wow, what an honor. Um, I uh, had the pleasure of getting an award a few years ago, and I told my friend, who is a, also a senior woman executive, that I was embarrassed by the attention. She said to me, embarrassed is when your skirt falls off when you're coming off of an airplane. This is wonderful. Well, I guess I'm not embarrassed. Um, and this is indeed wonderful. I want to begin by thanking Sachi Koto for all of her amazing work for and deep and abiding commitment to the community. The work that WAC is doing to create opportunities for AAPIs and to increase awareness about the issues that matter to our community is invaluable. It is my honor to be on the stage with other honorees like my good friend Daphne and for those who have been honored in the past. I am among giants, my role models, my idols. I'm deeply in awe. Let's not forget that Sachi is a trailblazer in media and communications, one of the first prominent AAPIs on air. She undoubtedly launched the careers of so many young, young, young AAPIs who just wanted to be like her. But not satisfied with just being a pioneer, Sachi co-founded WAC to promote awareness about our communities and to bring our voice to the forefront of the debates and conversations of the day. And I'm thankful to my company, Comcast NBC Universal, because I would not be here tonight were it not for the many opportunities I've been given to succeed at the company. Comcast NBCU's commitment to social responsibility, diversity and inclusion, community investment, and now sustainability has been inspiring to me. Now, it's important that we're here tonight and that we be engaged in our community we need to have a presence. We need our voice to be heard now more than ever. At a time when there is an increase in anti-immigrant rhetoric and actions, when we continue to be asked, where are you from, because we're not seen as being from here and couldn't possibly be American, when we continue to seek representation, we need to come together. We need to celebrate our accomplishments and have moments of unity like this. It's also important to spotlight our accomplishments and contributions for those that come behind us, especially the young people. After all, you can't be what you can't see. Early in my career, I had to have a very active imagination to envision that someone like me, a child of immigrants whose parents had no roots here, who had no connections, who had no inside way in, could actually make it in corporate America because there were no executives who looked like me. I was thrilled to see two Asian Americans win Emmy Awards this past week because it's not often enough that we see our own commended so prominently for a job well done. Riz Ahmed was the first man of Asian descent and the first Muslim to win a Best Actor Emmy. The first. Little brown girls and boys everywhere scored a victory last Sunday when they saw Riz and Aziz Ansari awarded on an international stage, saying to themselves, that could be me. It matters. Our young people need to see people like themselves in all walks of life and leadership so that they can not only dream of it, but see it. And we need to make those dreams into reality. Our mere presence isn't enough. We have to actively work for diversity and inclusion every day in every way. The world needs to see us too. We make contributions to every aspect of life in America. We are all shades. We are all heritages. 
We speak many languages and English. We worship different ways. We make and eat all sorts of food. And we are as American as apple pie, hot dogs, and baseball. It's through shattering these stereotypes that we become seen and heard for who we are and what we deserve. We belong here. This is our country too. We've made this country great. Thank you so much for this tremendous honor and congratulations to all the other worthy honorees. I remain your faithful servant.